Floft is a player of Giant Gaming. I'm going to have to endorse Giant Gaming as I do play with them. And of course, we are the best team, even if, even if we get second most of the time. Okay, so this is this is which which team's on the left side, which team's on the right side? Okay, team on the left is Team O Swift Scouts, and team on the right is what was the team? What was the team? What was the team? Disco Klaus. That okay, was team. Cool. I need another game to film because this one I was I wasn't gonna record this one, but since it's still so early, they've only just turned over windmill, so it is very early in game. Yeah, why not? Let's just record this. It's great. Okay, that's another game to watch, and that's another very strong defense. It got neutralized against Teemo Swift Scouts, but they proceeded to win the follow-up fight, meaning they are still holding a three-point advantage, and they are about 90 points ahead, which is by no means too much of a lead to come back on, but... Exactly, Mali, I am Giant Gaming. It was called Recycled Giants Bounce, actually, Giant Gaming. Have some trivia, but then I couldn't play for a month, and they renamed... Yeah. How do you say that in Sloopy? X Loopy? Kasloopy? Um Kis Kisloppy? I have no idea. Let's let's just call him Loopy. Loopy works for me. Okay. Or Janna. Janna works too. Okay, Zyra's bot lane now perhaps. Perhaps they feel that Riven can't take the matchup, or it could just be covering the objective, as that was quite a large creep wave heading that way. <coughs> Yeah, Olaf catching up to this top point, but taking some free damage on his way up there from Pantheon. Pantheon doesn't oh. like getting hit by lightning, so he turns around, counters with a stun there, goes in for that dive, and now Janet getting really low on hit points. Fizz dashes right through, delivers a lot of damage onto her at once, picks up the double kill. J4 down with the Cataclysm to take out Riven, and now Kog'Maw retreating onto the point. Diana is aggressive on Zyra at the turret, by the way, and bottom is objective as well. Kog'Maw just takes out Pantheon there with his passive. Although this looks like they could lose mid. Looks like they are losing mid, actually. This is Disco Klaus being four capped at the moment. Seven minutes into the game. And we're going to see that interrupted just at the last moment by Olaf and Janna. Uh, Fizz is going to playful trickster out, but get caught by an exhaust for his troubles, and J4 oh, is going to try and, and get really out. Going down. At Demacia Let's see and if Stander, Olaf can not take out the final two. If he lands a good undertake, take potentially take them both down, but I can't see it happening. No. Pantheon is on his way back up to defend the top turret. Breath is waiting there on Fizz, just to take out Olaf and bait him in a little further. There we go, the Pantheon-Fizz combos just took Olaf out. Very good combo, and very well timed there by Breath, Breath of the Dying. And Zannies, I don't know how to say the other guy's name either. Bre Breath of the Dying, what is that? Um, um, Vex... Eld, Eth, Head, Zod? Diablo runes? Is that? Is that a Diablo reference? That would be really cool if it was. Cogma getting caught it by J4 be. right there. Has to flash on out of that. Good flash use right there. And Riven's gonna get taken down, though, as a result of them not being able to hit Cogma anymore. Let's get turn around and beat up Riven, because Riven's close enough to hit. Cogma was not. Breath the Dying comes right around through, gets monsooned on out, but was on his way out anyway, so if anything, that monsoon is helping him escape, but also heals Kog'Maw, Pantheon doesn't care, dives right through the tower, catches him with that Aegis, gets that stun, and takes him out, and Breath the Dying circling back out away from the point, probably just waiting for cooldowns, looking for a better engagement. Just so we know, Ty Boys vs. Teemo, uh, Ty Boys vs. Bugs in my head is now about to start, I do believe, that'll be semi-final round. Winner of that game will go ahead to the winner of this game versus Real Terror. Whoever wins that game will go against either Tie Boys or Bugs in the Head. And Fizz able to uh, help that gank pick up that point there. Playful Tricksters over the living artillery from Kogma. Another good dodge from Breath the Dying there, and he's going to, uh, looks like they're maybe both going to have three kill, no, they're going to hang around at the point, I don't know what they're doing, top lane, there's some stuff going on though, we have Riven and Olaf, oh, up the Jan top. has caught Riven in the turret, oh, but she jumped out of the Cataclysm and caught onto Corky, walls are only That's a suggestion, they're not a rule, Riven can jump over them, most people can go through them, but Pantheon is there to clean up, and yes, it is a Diablo runes reference, woo, thank you, thank you Discworld, for that. Did I get the runes right? Oh, Vex, Eld, Eth, yeah. Head, Zod? By the way, Disc, I meant to swap onto kills and deaths, etc., but I forgot to do it as we've not Oops. long switched into this game. I just remembered to do it, thanks for reminding me. 
Yeah, I, I've got Disc reminding me of everything here at the minute. Awesome. I think he likes being the old bloke that does the reminder. You heard me right, Disc. You're the old bloke. You've got to treat your viewers right, haven't you? What better way than calling them names? Okay, we've got Pantheon and Javan setting up for more aggression on mid, but they could be out of place here. Unless they take out Janna quick, this will be a 3v2 on the turret. But they look like they're taking a the lead here. Pantheon does have the Storm Shield, so he does do quite a bit of extra damage. Um, now, Janna and uh, Kog'Maw are both quite squishy there, so it was easy for them to get rid of them. Riven a little bit too tanky for them to fight underneath that turret. However, with a creep wave yeah. and some reinforcements coming in, they're going to be in an okay spot to try oh, and push Oh, we've it. got a lot of aggression, bot mate. We've got a lot of aggression. And a quick question. Do you want to swap into the semi-final game or watch this game? As we have started this game now. Um, semi-finals, did it just start the game or did it like champ select or what? Um, they're asking me now if we want to spectate their game or what. Um, we can just finish this one up and then, then go over. Because this one, this one shouldn't be too much longer, it looks like. Yeah, it's quite a stomp. So yeah, then, then we'll jump over and we'll probably miss champs. I've got to give, something. I've got to give quite a bit of credit to Pantheon and Javan here. They've been setting up a lot of plays and playing quite aggressively, but making things out of it. We have bot lane. Lots of aggression going on on that bot turret still. That's Janna taken out by Fizz. The heal is reduced on her ultimate by Fizz's W, of course, which means she can't out sustain his damage output. He does have a way with squishes. There is a bit of a push coming up towards this top lane here. Uh, Pantheon and Jarvan getting a little bit worn down over the course of this prolonged engagement. She's going to make room for Olaf to be able to maybe come in and secure a kill if he dives for it. Looks like that's what he's going for right there. Uh, he's going to decide to go for Corky first, though, and I'm not sure if I like that because that leaves all the CC up. Jarvan's able to deliver that Cataclysm, and it's just Zyra, but with Fizz coming up from behind, using the chum the waters to zone her away to cut off the Oof. retreat path is able to dash in get the slow she's taking the corky bait that was a clever play by fluff there baiting her over distracting her just keeping her a bit busy a bit too busy to deal with fizz and cogmore is now pushing but there is a half half corky and a half half fizz there to, ready to deal with a push and anything he does although bot lane has been captured by minimon on diana a very strong bot laner, actually. Ridiculous. Janna strong. had one digit hit points. She had four. Yeah. But she had that shield, right. so oh. it was okay. We have Pantheon versus Olaf here above the bot turret, but Riven's on her way. I feel like Pantheon should have stayed if he'd seen the Riven come in. Riven did miss a stun, though, which means that Minimon can now come in and make it 2v2, which is being cleaned up at the minute. Yeah, that's well cleaned up. Now Zyra's in trouble, and Top has lost as it's outnumbered by blue side. Fizz is trying to aggress on Janna near the turret, whose tornado doesn't go and hit anything. And yeah, missing with that undertow in that last engagement kept uh, Riven and uh, Olaf from being able to connect with Pantheon and take him out. And Shark out eats Janna. Delicious treat. That was a quite a fast game, 13 minute game, and that'll be Teemo Swift Scouts through to the... Is that the best of eight? Or is that the best of Round four? of four. I think it's the best of yeah, four. Yeah, this is round of eight, the so round, they go on to round of four. Round of four. Yeah. So, so it will be Teemo Swift Scouts versus Real Terror. That is Cillian and Co. I don't know if Cillian's playing or not this week. I've not been paying too much attention. And it will be Tie Boys against Bugs in My Head. And we will be watching Tie Boys versus Bugs in My Head now.